Okay, all, we're going to do something a little different. Sorry I took a break. Um, I haven't been feeling good. I got really bad food poisoning, so. Huh. But these are 10 common logical fallacies everybody should know. Number one, ad hominem. It occurs when someone attacks directly the person making an argument rather than criticizing the argument himself. Or itself, rather. I've seen that happen, and I've experienced the first one a lot. Number two, the straw man. When someone attacks a distorted version of the original argument that they themselves created. Number three, appeal to authority. Asserting that something must be true because it's backed up by someone who is allegedly an authority on the subject. Number four, slippery slope. Taking an argument for the first sensible premise to an undesirable or extreme conclusion via a number of hastily connected steps. Number five, bandwagon. The bandwagon fallacy occurs when something is said to be true or good simply because it's popular. Number six, appeal to ignorance. When it is said that an argument must be true if it cannot be proven, false, or false if it not can be proven true. A false dilemma is number seven. This occurs when two choices are presented as the only option when, in fact, there are other alternatives that exist. Number eight, hasty generalization. The logical fallacy happens when a general conclusion is drawn based on a simple or a sample size, rather, that is too small. Number nine, red herring. This occurs when someone deliberately attempts to move the issue under new discussion to a new irrelevant topic. And lastly, the most important one of all, number 10, appeal to tradition. When one claims that something must be good or true because it's been practiced for a long time, that is traditionally. And these are the 10 common logical fallacies that everybody should know for debating religion of any kind.